Suppose you draw one card from a standard 52 card deck. What is the probability that you get an ace or a face card? Again, a probability with or says that the probability of one thing or another thing happening is the sum of their individual probabilities minus the probability that they happen at the same time, minus the overlap. And again, the reason for that is that if you simply sum the probabilities of the individual events, you double count the overlap. So we have to subtract off the overlap once so that we don't double count it. Here, the probability that you get an ace or a face card, well, an ace is not a face card, so these events are mutually exclusive or disjoint. They won't happen at the same time. If we're only drawing one card, we're either going to get an ace or a face card or something else, but we're not going to get something that's both an ace and a face card. So in this case, the probability that we get an ace or a face card is simply the sum of their probabilities because the probability of both of them happy together is zero. So we just subtract off zero at the end, which doesn't change anything. The probability of drawing an ace, well, there are four aces, the ace of clubs, diamonds, hearts, and spades, and there are 52 total cards. The face cards, there are three face cards for each suit, the jack, queen, and king, and four suits total, so that's a total of 12 face cards out of 52. Adding them together, we get 16 out of 52. We could also simplify this down to 4 out of 13. And that's another way of thinking of it. You could focus just on one suit and say, well, in this suit, there's one ace card, three face cards, and so four cards meet the description that I was given out of 13 cards in this suit. So all the suits are the same, so my chances of drawing an ace or a face card are 4 out of 13. So again, there's multiple ways of thinking of this problem, multiple ways of analyzing it, but with all of them, if we think correctly, we get to the correct answer.